next yet. Right, hello, good evening, my, I'm Neil, uh, I'm a school improvement advisor in North Pineside for ICT, and uh, this is kind of off the back of some work we've done with uh, quite a few of our primary schools mainly in the last year, um, and it's the concept of a kind of digital coordinators file and how that can be used across the whole school to kind of manage and organise a whole school curriculum within an organisation. That's me, details later. Uh, so uh, it was off the back of some work we did with the primary to redevelop and sort of rewrite their ICT curriculum really. And we started doing that kind of, we wanted to do it collaboratively and digitally and we were using Google Apps and Google Docs in particular so the staff could kind of collaborate on planning and it, as the kind of process went on it's generated more and more stuff, more and more kind of documents and all that kind of stuff. And it, we kind of got to this conclusion that it was kind of getting vaster and vaster and vaster and while that docs are saved in Google Drive and that kind of thing now, they did kind of they could live somewhere online, but we wanted it to be ideal. It was a kind of um, something that could be shared between the whole staff and easily to get to. And we, that they needed a home room. So off that kind of concept, we kind of thought about that and that we didn't really like that anymore. And that planning file that you carry around as a coordinator sits in the corner of your classroom, gathering dust, getting heavier, and you shoving notes from meetings you've been to and that kind of thing. It never really gets you. It's not really useful. I am my total paper dodger and never use it if possible at all. And especially for ICT, you know, as if we're building digital resources, it can't live there anymore. When I was an ICT coordinator in school, I, I never really used it anyway. It was, like I say, heavy, rubbish for sharing with colleagues. I didn't look at my file that much. I know for certain I never looked at my colleagues' coordinator files and vice versa as well. So how are you sharing the good things about your subject with your colleagues? Um, and, you know, just too much paper, and when you did get your own out, you were trying to find that thing that you maybe chucked in three months ago. So, as I said, we wanted it to be a collaborative thing, a collaborative experience, so we made this initially, this is just an example of one, which is a Google site. So our schools have got Google Apps, uh, Google Docs, and with it, Google Sites. So we made a, an ICT site, and it was kind of everything that I, for ICT in their website. And it's just, it's private, it's shared only amongst the staff team, led by the ICT coordinator initially, and you can see it's got things in there like examples of work, uh, key skills for the subject, place to put the policies and documents, the planning is in there as well. A list of every bit of hardware they've got in school, a catalogue list so someone can walk in and go, oh, we've got that in our school, oh, it's in the cupboard down the road, oh, we need three batteries for a people, that kind of thing. Somebody new coming in could find that very easily as well. The planning that is linked in there is all done in Google Docs as well. So we had overviews, can you scroll me down then? Keep going, keep going, keep going. So this is like overviews of the year, so back up to the right. Tell you what, lovely. So kind of over the year, what they're doing, when, uh, done by kind of key topic and stuff, and this is hyperlinked to the Google document, which again is shared and just comments so they can all write on it at the same time. The coordinator can get in and see whatever year you're just doing, they're fine, they've got a really good overview of their topic. So that's kind of all that. But then I thought, well that's nice, but why am I only doing this for ICT? Because that would work for anything. So we turned it into this, which is a kind of template empty version if you like. But doing that for every subject in a school, and then every bit of the curriculum then lives in that website. Every, every member staff can look at the other subjects. You can manage your subject from there, you can see what all the resources and tools, so the ICT stuff we pulled across into the <coughs> section, so we've got examples of work in there, a little kind of filing cabinet page of stuff that kids hypothetically have done, so that we've chucked in from CLC sessions here and stuff like that. It could be web links, it could be, uh, photo of a screen that they've done, it could be an actual scratch file in there as well, that kind of thing. Also, for every subject we put in things like websites, so if, you know, Mrs. Jones find a brilliant, finds a brilliant India website, that, and we can collect those together. It's like the digital equivalent of your topic boxes that live in the, copy, in the cupboard down the road. It's all there, everybody can contribute to that, so if you do find a great site, you can put it on there and your colleagues can use it too. Or if you move year groups next year, somebody's going to use they know what to go, and it's not 
that idea, that, that thing that you know about, isn't lost anymore. Because how else do you share good things amongst your staff? You already on the staff room notice board. It might last a week or so, and it's gone. So we did that for every subject. And I started showing schools it, and people seemed to quite like it. And Langley first called the Stubler Road are getting on board and adopting this now. And Harry's at the back there. This is her site. He kind of said I can chip it up there as well. And they're just starting to personalise this and that and populate it. They're embedding things like Google presentations into there to be able to show photos or examples of work. Um, where did I say I was going to go to art? So I just put it up there. Just hanging off there. But again, the lovely gallery of displays and bits, pieces of work that the kids have done and stuff. Can go through, as well as uh, I think in the art one is also like an equipment list and resources. What should have in the art cupboard? What should be in your classroom? It goes down. So again, you know, you can all walk around the digital version of your school, I suppose, and see what's going on. So I like it, and I think it's good because, as I said, there's a subject for one, and you can manage every element of your subject from anywhere. It's in the cloud, obviously. You don't need to cart your file about, you can get to it at home, in the classroom, in the ICT suite, at a network meeting, in the local authority, whatever, you can manage it from anywhere. You can inso upload stuff instantly, if you've got mobile devices, if you've got iPads or whatever else, you can go, oh, wow, that's an amazing piece of writing, take a photo of it and upload, upload it straight to your curriculum site and save it. You don't have to worry about photocopying it and then sticking it in a folder somewhere. Uh, really quick, instant capture, um, with the collaboration, obviously, between colleagues and being able to walk in and out of different subjects. Share is also really easy with your colleagues. It keeps everything in one place. And as I said, that's great for new staff coming into the school, but also to, if you've got an interested observer in your school for whatever kind of reason, how else to you know, walk them through your subject, everything in one place, and just being able to get into other people's subjects, and best of all, the notepaper, which I'll Thanks for